Welcome to the Dice Tower, a show all about board and card games. In this episode, Dan King and Eric Summer take a look at different board games at the Gamma Trade Show in Las Vegas. This show is from 2014 and talks about all the new brand new games coming out. Here with our interviews is your host, Dan King. So we're here with James Ernest from Cheap Ass Games. James, what, what brings you to Gamma this year? Uh... It's early in the morning, man. <laughs> what kind of question is that? I, I, I'm at Gamma for the same reason everybody's at Gamma, to show this crap to the retail stores. What, what makes this <laughs> convention different from, say, like a consumer convention? Well, I, you know, I spend all my time in business meetings. It's, it's like a three-hour, a three-day business meeting. I, I, as soon as I walk into the hotel, I run into people that I know, and I deal with stuff like that. So... Uh, it's, it is very different from a trade show. I didn't bring anything to sell. I just brought stuff to show off. I'm talking about stuff that's not coming out for months. Um, and uh, it's, it's actually a lot easier to do. You feel like you get more contact with you know, retailers. and is, is that more valuable than, than meeting with individual gamers at a, at a larger con? It's it's what this show is for. Like they're both valuable, but when I meet with gamers, I find out what they want to buy, what they want to play. When I meet with retailers, I find out what they think about you know their their role in this. So so it's they're different conversations, but they're both important. So what's the big push for you right now? What's the uh, the new release? Um. Well. The big push right now, the April game is Get Lucky, and that's the Kill Dr. Lucky card game. Uh, it is a uh, simpler, more compact uh, uh, version of the same story. You know, everyone's trying to kill Dr. Lucky. Whoever kills him first wins. If you know the board game, you'll see some familiar mechanics in this, but you'll also see a bunch of new stuff. The newest thing in Get Lucky is that there's personalities for all the murderers, so there are individual characters with their own backstories and why they want to kill him, and uh, you build up not just the character but the motive and the opportunity and the weapon that they're going to use and get them stronger and stronger and finally you know kill Dr. Lucky the the familiar mechanic is that you know, Dr. Lucky's luck is played by everybody else so I try to kill him with a seven point murder attempt and you guys have to play seven points to make it stop what replaces the board in, in the card game um, uh, there's still a Dr. Lucky pawn and he still moves around but he moves to the characters and the characters have numbers so he just goes like that and he's the turn as well so the turn just moves with him and if it's if Dr. Lucky's in front of you then it's your turn um, and so there's no tactics like in the board there's no sight lines or anything like that but there's um, uh, play order the order of of where the characters are and there's moving characters in and out of the, the middle which is called the drawing room um, Dr. Lucky moves into the drawing room as well he visits the characters that are in there and when he's there people draw cards and that's why it's the drawing room right? uh, <laughs> it's, it's all very simple and clever and self-contained and we, um, we ran a, a, a Kickstarter to fund this game back in October and now it's just coming out in April and should be in retail stores this month Excellent. I also saw you uh, with Pears, a new pub game style. <laughs> Indeed. Can you tell us a little, about, a little about that one? This, this, all of these, like, this is really a prototype. This is the wrong color, by the way. This box is the wrong color. Uh, let's see. It's going to be this color. There's the box oh. right there. There's the, huh. the actual Get Lucky box. This is the prototype from the video. Okay, Pears... We just finished kickstarting pairs. We just raised a lot of money to print a lot of decks of this, and we're going to get it into retail by September. Um, this is the form factor of the game, but this is not the box. The game is actually just 55 cards, and hopefully a blank card like this, too, to cover the bottom of the deck. I'm still working on that. Okay. But it's a, we're calling it a new classic pub game. Pub game is not a very well developed or well understood um, genre, but it's basically. A gambling game. It's a very simple game. It has only these components. It's you, it's easy to teach. You can play it in five minutes. You can come and go. Um, you can play it for money if you want to. And there's lots of different variants of the game, but the core game is just about not getting a pair. Points are bad. Points hurt you. Uh, the deck is just the numbers one through ten, and it's a triangular deck, which you might remember from Twelve Days or Dalmudi or whatever. It's got one one and two twos and three threes, just up to ten tens, and there's no specials. Um, if you, as I deal the cards out, if you get a pair of any particular number, you get that many points, and points are bad. So if you have a 10, there's nine other 10s in the deck, you're probably going to get 10 points when you pair it. 
Um, if you draw and don't get a pair, then you're safe, and it goes on to the next person. This game only has one loser, so you just want to be the person who doesn't lose. And as a drinking game, that's great, because you want to find the one guy who's got to pay for the drinks. Or uh, The way we played it last for penalties was for telling a joke. If you lost, you had to tell a joke. And it's great to have that sort of pressure on you that, okay, if I lose, I have to do a thing. Um, so it, it, it plays really simple. When I play it in bars, the staff and the people in the bar come over and, what are you doing and how do I get it? And I'm just like, I can't wait to have an answer for that. Like, you know, here, here's the card with the website on it, except I don't have it yet because so, it's coming out in September. Uh, we just finished the Kickstarter for this. We raised a lot of money. We're doing 12 different versions of the deck. Actually, we're doing 11 pairs decks and one other deck, which is Falling. Do you remember Falling from uh, 1999, the original Falling game? Uh, that happens to have the same exact form factor as this, so we're printing it at the same time. Okay. Uh, but that's a new edition of Falling also, and it's got uh, slightly updated rules. I don't know, are you familiar with Falling at all? Falling was the real-time card game that everyone is falling, and the object is to hit the ground last. Uh, and in this one, there is a dealer who's not falling, and she just gives cards to everybody at whatever speed she wants, and everyone is just always on. You, you're playing cards. The cards you play are instructions to the dealer, so if she sees a hit, she'll give you extra cards. If she sees a skip, she'll give you no cards. At the bottom of the deck are the ground cards. They only come out at the end, just like in real life. And so by the time you get down to the bottom of the deck, which is about 90 seconds, you want to have enough skips and other cards so that she doesn't give you ground and she gives a ground to everybody else and then you get the ground last and you win. Uh, the new rules in this edition of Falling, we have all new art by Val Merrick. Uh, it's just gorgeous and the new rules are we've consolidated two of the special cards into one. We've added some extra uh, permanent uh, instruction cards and and just sort of cleaned up the deck recipe and so on. But but it's, it's very exciting to be able to do that, just kind of snuck into the <laughs> Pairs Kickstarter, just one more deck. You could have this instead because I don't think that I could have raised money to do that game on its own. On its own. It is a reprint. It's not, you know, it's not a huge property, but I love having it in print, and so it was great to kind of do it along with Pairs. James, thank you very much. I hope you have a great time in Las Vegas. Sure. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.